Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with another Antediluvian Ruin Raid. Uh, this time I think we get a Oracalcum facility. Not sure what exactly that means. But it is going to be a tough as nails mission mainly because... We will bring the C team in order to go about this. Steven here with his Redeemer well, certainly will not make any impact. The Redeemer is not good, good enough of a weapon against uh, these guys. I am considering, although he's not proficient with it, to just switch that out. And instead give him kind of the classic assault rifle gig. Has a grenade, which isn't bad. But yeah, that's that's really about it. He's not proficient with anything else. Might as well use him to shred some armor as and when possible. Same ordeal here. But we got at least the pistol. Very good. Polina is not going to be on the mission. But just for the sake of uh, hygiene, how about we're giving her proper outfit? Like something along those lines. And a little bit of that, and a little bit of that, and that, and one of those, and a grenade. Cool. She's still not on uh, on that team, but I feel just having an outfit itself uh, might be helpful. Uh, we will need more healing. I can already foresee that we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, we got enough ammunition, so we should be fine. Ignore pain was what we wanted to skill originally. Okay, next up, Incy Vinci. Hmm, we need more ammunition on both of the guns. We don't have any form of blast equipment. That's a problem. Those little Explosive rocket throwers, the Fury 2 is, I believe, what it is called. That would be very, very helpful. Other than that, look, she can war cry, right? So instead of skilling anything here, what I would want to suggest is. We're upping the willpower, that is one additional war cry and more recovery. Shotguns and laser weapon. Hmm, not bad. I don't think that they will take panic. The spiders, they will actually be quite helpful. Not enough strength to carry all of that, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. At this point, I'll just put in more spiders. Okay. A bit more uh, healing for us. And I'm waiting to go for ignore pain. 
Uh, very soon the level up will ha hit. We got armor break. We're okay on strength. Should we invest into more willpower is the question. That's typically one of the weak spots of the snipers. And we got Vanessa, unfortunately without extra ammunition, but definitely with extra healing, uh, that is super helpful. Need more strength, willpower could go up, but I also want her to get a new class soon. So she's just going to focus on healing and basically getting the body parts back in, in good order. Okay, and that's our team. We do have some um, some armor shredding, but not a lot. Let's deploy and see how we're doing. All right, we landed. Ooh, that looks very good. I like the runes. I mentioned it a couple of times. The music is on point. Really, like, freaky Maya Inca type of music and this here just looks fantastic. Okay, so an Oricalcum Forge. Well, that's instant friend. I think the biggest problem oh, here boy. is we don't know where these guys are. Deploying a few spider drones. Haha. <laughs> That spotted you out, my friend. Justin moves over here. Very much out of line of sight. This guy has not been aggroed so far. And Let's I would this. appreciate if we can keep it that Ready. way. the turret and Vanessa afterwards gets nicely back into cover easy enough sniper moves up look Steven Helps Overwatch for now. He's not really good with that gun. Our frontliners, on the other hand, should be good with the guns. On Overwatch, let them come. Um, yeah, NC, NC needs to. Get there sooner than later. We will jump in and we will use our war scream. Just need to find the right place to jump to. Hmm, it's not a there's not a lot of cover here. We'll take the tree next turn. I'm on Overwatch. Okay, end of turn. Okie dokie. Well, that worked out well. So what the spiders uh, do reasonably well is to keep these guys busy. One here. And 
another one there. Good, in terms of jumping in, no good angles. No good angles. I mean, could move up here. And war scream from next round onwards. I think that's what we're going to do. The war scream will make these altercations much simpler for us. line of sight unfortunately Ready to engage. one two three operative on the move Asian cow moves up yeah. and we need, need to shred our armor Successful. Yeah, very good. Uh, but it was not a bad attack. Still alive. I'm prepared. Finger on the trigger. Trying to remove more armor. <laughs> ah, not good. Not good at all. Continuing to stay in cover here. Overwatch. And that's one down. Continuing to overwatch, uh, to continue to shoot, uh, this time with armor penetration. Good, very good, that's a nice little hit. Kyle moves up. Perfect shot. And gets the enemy down. I like it. What's I needed? like it a lot. This is going way better than I would have expected. But as so often in life, when when you do something the first time, it is ultra difficult, and then it becomes easier. Oh, not good. Deploying the shields. More enemies on the move. Okay, a few things here. For starters, healing ourselves. And we really shouldn't be the one that is taking a hit because we need to be able to repair the body parts. So. Going back into full cover here. Heading out. Yeah. Yeah, let's start Tug. reducing that shield. 
Still 20 armor. Confirming target. Not sure just how much armor we took off of it. Okay, cool. Well, that's a decent start. Reloads, and I think we're just going to deploy more spiders for now. Ready. Aiming. That would shoot straight through it. Amy. Shut wide. Yeah, the pistol. Holding position. Unfortunately, isn't as accurate. Show what we can do. Moves up. Ready to engage. Kills another one. That's good. And Let's do this. We're just going back at the moment. Okay, and even if his only activity. In Civinci is to war uh, and die. That is good enough. That is actually good enough. Spider drones will help us a lot. I very much underestimated them at the beginning. But when we fought against the pure for the first time and they kicked our ass with them. I started getting a new appreciation of them. End of turn. Oh really? You're deploying your shields right there. See, as long as the spiders are taking the heat, I am so okay with that. Uh, not very much okay with that. Could straight up kill him. Then where would we move? We're sitting duck here. We'll we'll deal with them in a moment. Oh no. Not even a line of sight for the turret. That indeed was one of my hopes. The problem is these guys. I'm not sure if if they even are affected by burning. No clue.
Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Well, the answer is they are, which is surprising. Thought they were mechanical beings. But maybe they are not. Couple of things. Still in frenzy. Here is in the way. Hmm. Spider drone moves up, and I think they are worth more alive than they are dead. The explosion would take away the fire, which I don't want to happen. Instead, we're placing another one of these. Moving into cover. Could move over here and then start to shoot them. Is there a better place for the turret? Retrieving the turret costs two. That will cost us so much Ready. momentum if we were to do that. Spider drones are moving up. And I'll just leave them as is for now. I don't want to. You know what? Maybe we're moving in. Taking no damage. Just waiting here because that means maybe the guy on the back is moving in as well. They do have these Orichalcomora shields, which make them very hard to hit. I think the first damage or the first few damages are just reduced. Good, let's try that again. It's the shield. I just want to make sure that he can die. Which he very much can. Now, I'm going back to here. Uh, that opens us to fire from the other side. I think this here is the best position amongst many not so good positions. Can't wait. Aiming. Target missed. Okay, one of them lost their armor, which is good. You hear that? 
we unfortunately don't yet have an option uh, to war scream them that's a real bummer Vanessa moves over here. Trying to get these shields down. Not sure if we hit anything. Mm. Yeah. Good, so... Let's try to remove armor, which we did, and continue just shooting. They definitely got rid of some of their Aurichalcum shielding, but I can't necessarily see a lot of damage yet. Let's hope that will change. We're quite exposed, but there are also a lot of spider drones. burning is getting to them. Luckily the spider drones are really small, I know that from fighting them and uh, with the cures, so it's not easy to hit them. <laughs> Spider drones are tanking for us. Very good. I finally found a counter. They are inaccurate with the lasers and the drones are helping us like a lot. is the explosion radius quite sizable right so say we were to go in here and explode that would deal a lot of damage wouldn't it I'm not sure they still have their stupid oricalcum uh, but it at least reduced armor it didn't deal a lot of damage but the armor reduction is what counts. There's one. There's a reload. More spider drones on the way. Very good. Let's clean these guys up first, shall we? Living Shield took a lot of damage. Don't want to waste my willpower. Target missed. That living shield must be massive. Oh, 
Finally, shield gone. Again, minus one or a cargo shielding. Another minus one. And yet another minus one. Oh, you're almost down. How much shielding is left, my dude? Got enough will points. But we need a good, a really good position. Behind here wouldn't be too bad. Could go to here. That's not perfect, but at least we're safe. And I think we need to play this one safe. Did we kill them? That actually worked. Good. Now we killed them. Justin hides out, and as long as we're hidden, they won't shoot at us. Preparing to fire. Giving crystal shield. I think it's not a bad idea to Just start getting these guys down. 35 damage on that shield, good. What's our move? I'll keep my eyes open. Overwatch and end of turn with most others. Good. Well, now he's burning. That was a mistake, my friend. That was a. Nice, big, fat mistake. Oh, these guys can't hit the spiders. I love it. I think I found the counter. Indirect fire and spiders. Lots of them. Oh yeah, just don't get too close. You'll be fine. Big guy. That's four wasted lasers. Great. I am quite happy. It feels a bit like a small abuse, but these guys are so strong. Might take any advantage that we can get. The spiders scout them out, and they hard counter them. Fire seems to also work very well against these gentlemen. Gentle robots, rather.
That's the right call. Uh, shield damage, shielding damage, and we got their armor down. Move to here. And here. Don't want to yet go in too deep. Yes, we did. Finally, the turret seems to be good for something. Yeah, the living crystal shield is getting a lot of damage. Okay, well that didn't work out just how I wanted it to work out. Let's go. Aiming. Kyle moves up. Target missed. And unfortunately misses the target. On it. Well, that's a different target. Cool. We just killed him. And whilst we're at it, let's move back so that everybody gets the plan? sweet, sweet additional willpower per turn. Asian cow really should be the guy in front, while Steven is just standing back. Ready for action. And we'll wait one more turn. Good war scream would would really help us out here. It's a bit wasteful for just one willpower to completely recover. Amy. That didn't work. Okay, Overwatch, Overwatch, and I think we're good. End of turn. Good luck, guys, in hitting the spiders. So far, they haven't hit a single spider. Myself, they've now hit a single spider. Problem is, they also get a lot of um, oracle shielding. Shielding. Ok, 
Okay, we do have a problem. They start to see us. to start with war screams. Standing in full cover. And that at least reduces their action points. Now, on another note, now is a good time for an armor break. Can any of the others? Yeah, he could move over and hit us. Zooming in. Unfortunately, a miss. Attempting to reposition. Asian cow begins to move back. So now, we are not very good at hitting. We just disabled one leg. That's good. Here. raise up his head. I think that's as high as it gets. We need a different spot for the turret, maybe over here. But then we also don't have Let's buy the bullet now. Retrieve the turret. It'll take us a few turns to get back into the old position. can't really kill him this turn, I don't think so, but we can dish out so much damage. Let's spare his body parts that he will almost ready. be ready to be killed. Preparing to fire. Uh, come on. Unnecessary. I should have just I'll not been lazy and used manual aiming. Okay, end of turn. denied um, actions from all on his own.
by using that warstone. perspective. Good spider moves up. to here get that other guy I think that's the right call one two three He has lost most of his legs. Uh, these guys are completely taken out. Um, in that direction. Good, now's the time to start dishing out some damage. our turret there. If we hit all of our shots, the pistol barrage is more efficient than the sniper itself. Success. Of course not when we need to reload. Yes. But there is an advantage to reload as well, at Keep least we can overwatch open. afterwards. No mercy. I've got this. One, two. Three. I've got this. Four. No mercy. Yeah, we're being open. short on the actual damage department. Surprised that I would ever say that. Hope I don't miss. Yeah, I think that was it. They are so puzzled that they can't even really move far. Oh, 
But I also have Oracalcum shields, so... I mean, it's not that they are going to die immediately. Spiders. Now we're finally completely out of spiders, which means we might as well start killing stuff. See how I could not go in here. I think this will hit four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Control. Let's get that turret nicely fired up. What's our plan? Every single hit removes one shielding. So it's really just hitting, uh, hitting with a lot of automatic guns instead of single big hits. Gotcha. So I'm moving over here. I want a better shot. Said the turret is now warming up. We're switching positions just barely. But I could also hit all four. Thank you. And let's move back into cover. Next turn will be a bit more difficult because we would need to regain. Our power. them cannot shoot, right? The circle moves in. Attempting to acquire target. So single shots of course are Attempting less helpful. Okay, what else? Do we have anything left? I think we're pretty much out. Yeah, I can't get our heavy into the regeneration range. That could have been a play. Such essentially moving Steven forward just to provide more willpower. Next turn. We're 
getting the equipment. The problem here is I definitely need to recover now with Incivinci. We have only two spider drones left over. However, removing the armor off of all of them is quite helpful. And I will say, this here might be a good bait just to get them closer. Um, moving to here. Everybody gets friendly. This is an easier kill. We need to go through the shields. solved one of the issues. Still got to deal with those guys. Um. And the stupid shields. Uh, we do have two confirmed shots this round. Might as well take them up. Break double tap, will double tap. Shields are gone. What now? Back to pistol overwatch. They could be anywhere. Lining up a shot. We got enough to also double shoot. So we should do that. They still have their stupid lasers. points 200 80 okay well they are relatively easily stompable is what I'm realizing move up stomp stomp And now they only have one turn. The problem is Asian Cow is in the middle of everything, but I think we're still okay. Oh, we found another nice little counter. Okay. 
12 big fat hits. I like it. We would need to refresh our will points, but here we go. War cry does the trick. What's the plan? Asian cow goes back here. Okay, so that's one more gone. I am wondering, uh, can we finish both? Potentially not. Steven just moves up for now. Anthony begins to move up as well. Uh, ready. Problem with these guys, they still have Orikakum charges. Dozens and dozens of rounds of Must focus. just building these charges up. Now it takes a while to get them down. down to one HP. I can do this. Asian cow moves up. And that war stomp really is paying dividends. Yes it's my turn. You need an angle. That was a kill. Reload. This is going so, so much better than I would have hoped. Wow. The team nailed it, but I also found out a couple more counters against the enemies. The spider drones really pulled their weight. They don't have a lot of hit points, so the war stomp, once you're in them, is just completely overpowering. They can't deal with that. And yeah, armor reduction is always is, is uh, then trivializing it afterwards. They do have dozens and dozens of um, armor uh, armor um, mechanics stacked upon one another. But once you get through them, it's actually not a uh, not a big problem. Oh yeah, and the purification grenade also made a difference. So I would say, all things considered, this was a huge success. Moving back to here. Mendicore 3.
should move back as well. I don't see anything that they could do. Oh, well, they, yeah, they need to do the Pandora Nest. Never mind. Should we purchase a mechanic here? Hmm. You know what? Why not? And uh, we put it into Born in the USA. Flying over. So. These guys are waiting at the moment. That's fine. These guys are almost done. I would call it 39 out of 40 done. So we're starting to move. And we got more probes. Let's see. This here would be the next deployment. We wanted North America, right? There are two more up here, and then we have that continent nicely scouted out. Trading for a lot of material. Crew of the Helios is, is fully healed and ready. That's what I wanted to hear, which now means we can finally embark on that journey. Time to explore Australia. and three yeah, I believe we would cover uh, cover most of it that means the Americas are covered to my understanding uh, down here I'm not 100% sure we might need more Good, getting more probes up, and then we'll just cover the rest of the world. These two are on the way, on the way, on the way, on the way. And we can trade for some more resources. Pandora Nest has been revealed. Damn it. Well, we're going to do that afterwards. Needs to wait just a tiny bit longer. Good. So that is already scouted out. Thank <laughs> you. 
which brings us to half of that. And oh yeah, well, no matter how we slice and dice it, if we want to have Madagascar. We will need a second pro. I'll leave that little bit of cap divert down there, but it doesn't really matter because I need another probe for here anyways. Good. The Americas are trading nicely. That's what I was hoping would happen. Uh, we don't have enough tech. Can't can't do that. Medicore one. Yeah, they are tendentially okay. I don't see a big reason for not immediately going further. Ignore pain. That's a great ability, but inspire is a great ability as well. But I think we're starting with ignore pain just because it is such a good ability. Uh, we got the first level 7 character who has never seen a single day in combat. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, well, what I take from this is some of uh, the Born in the USA guys actually need to get going. Because they are receiving a lot of experience here. They haven't seen combat once. We do have Mendico 4. This is the team in the USA, if I'm not mistaken. Mendico 4. Yeah. So. Let's move them to here. We're exchanging the crew. And let our guys rest for a bit. After several hours of search, nothing useful has been found. That's our next mission, Tomb of the Mad Scientist. But now everybody's there. Still needing to put a few more probes up. Some of which go here. And here. So we've almost covered all of the areas. Not 100% sure what that Arikalkum Forge is now yielding as a benefit, but we'll find out. We definitely need to get that Pandora nest uh, out of the way. Um, yeah, we still have two locations up here. No, one. Living crystals we already got, but there are antediluvian runes there. We got this here, 
which seems to be a relatively new um, location as well. These are three, three missions right down here that we need to potentially do back to back. Not seeing any other ruins yet. I'm wondering. Well, America just, the US just has started with their antediluvian ruin search. We definitely got one here in South America. Could be something that Team 2 is taking care of. But then again, Team 2 also needs to get to the South Pole. Antarctica. And there's even a base that we could open there. Not sure how sensible it is to have a base down there, given that there are so many other locations where we need more bases, such as Europe, where we now do have a base. Uh, mm. Australia might actually be a, a decent hub as well, because I've not explored that part of the world. However, there are also apparently no colony, uh, colonies left, so I don't know. Um, there is something to be said for the Phoenix RD9 base here, which we could get that'll effectively grant us access to there. And there is a lot of mist here and a few colonies, so that might be more appropriate than the Antarctica thing. Plus, one of my favorite bases would be right here, Phoenix Alpha. I like building a base in the middle of like no one's no no man's land territory. In terms of personal, let's go through that real quick. There are still a few minor issues um, to go through. Uh, Tiamat needs experience and maybe we'll just, after all of the missions in South America, maybe we'll just move the crew to defend North America and sit somewhat, I'm not saying idle, but idle-ish in the base. Just getting that level 7 off of the training slabs, right? Um, the Manticore 3, that's our third team, doing perfectly well, needs a second... Uh, a second aircraft so when we're talking about just building the next items I'm wondering after Tiamat if it would make if it would make sense to then directly build like a manticore could even start that now if we wanted and already like commit the resources that way I'm not spending uh, spending them I tell you what I think that's helpful and I would even build the Manticore before I build Tiamat because uh, then that team finally is reunited team number three uh, that is by the way I just realized shortly need to move back because I wanted to drop off a soldier okay in terms of personal other than that we do have so many uh, people getting levels after levels after levels and they have never seen combat right could give them second classes from time to time. I'm just picking the kind of no regret uh, picks right off the bat. So this team here could be ready. I mean, all of them are level six and seven. Just from a pure level perspective, they are definitely ready, the team number five. So might as well make sure that team number two after their long fought mission 
just getting that treatment. And the last annoying part uh, with our prime team even is inappropriate Murphy here, really very slowly getting uh, getting that uh, extra experience. It seems to be prorated uh, since he's in the team with the level seven characters. But yeah, it, it just takes a while. Anyways, you know what does not take a while? Uh, it is clicking the like button, just mentioning. Uh, that will uh, do uh, that will be just one click and uh, that's all it takes to make this video famous thank you have a good one and bye bye